Hi, my name is Harry. We're going to have a chat about the GWMP series locking tailgate today. As you know, the GWMP series or the Canon as it's known in uh, Australia or the GWM power series in Asia does not have a locking tailgate. Now, it's a fantastic vehicle, but the tailgate can't lock. So what we've done is we've developed what we call the Easy Rig system, and that is a locking tailgate. We've been doing this for 15 years, developing locks and latches for automotive accessories and for tailgate locks, etc. And we've developed the OEM level tailgate lock for the GWMP series. Now, some of the tailgate locks you might have seen there, it's a bit of a, let's make a plan lock. So what guys typically do, they take a standard off the shelf central locking motor and they splice and dice the wiring into one of the doors. And then they fit it on a plate and they've got a little locking lever that just jams behind the handle. Now it seems like a good idea and it works. If you lock the vehicle, tailgate's locked uh, or the handle's jammed. If you unlock the vehicle, you can pull the handle. But there are a couple of problems. The first problem is that um, the, ha the tailgate handle is made of plastics and it's not unique to the GWM. Most of the modern pickups, the tailgates are made of plastic, the handle. Um, and now one of two things will happen. If somebody tries to break in and they grab that handle and they pull too hard, they're going to snap off the handle. Now, if you have a hard cover or something on and that's your only entry point, you're going to have a tough time getting uh, back in there. Now obviously the cost and the effort of replacing that handle that's very expensive and it will be a lot more expensive than this kit would typically cost you. So that's the first problem is a hard problem. The second problem is that uh, most of these vehicles auto lock. So you've been working around your vehicle, you had it unlocked and you are used to pulling the tab and uh, pulling the handle and getting inside. But now your vehicle's locked and because that handle is jammed, the plastic handle, now it's you walking up to the vehicle giving it a pull, not realizing that the vehicle had auto-locked, and now you snap off your handle. So what we've done um, is we developed a system that would uh, be a full OEM locking system, and the handle would be completely freewheeling. Now, the biggest problem with one of these systems and splicing and dicing and drawing power from the vehicle's uh, electronics is the vehicle has a computer system that we call the CAN bus system. And all it is, it's a fan fancy computer system that manages all the, all the accessories in the vehicle, and obviously the security part, that thing that locks the vehicle, unlocks and moves the door locks in and out, that's a critical part of your vehicle. In parallel with one of the door motors, what will happen eventually or potentially is that the CAN bus, the, the vehicle's computer system, is going to pick up that there's something wrong with that left rear door. And one of two things will happen. It'll either stop working, work intermittently, or even a third thing would be that um, it'll start giving errors and you'll have to take it back to the dealership to either fix it or reset it. The problem with it not working is the vehicle might turn off the left rear uh, door lock. Let's say this motor was spliced and diced into the left rear door lock. It'll simply turn off that lock. And now when you lock your vehicle thinking, um, and that's to protect itself. Now, thinking that you've locked your vehicle, that left uh, rear door didn't lock. And potentially thieves can get in your car. So um, this splicing and dicing, not a good idea at all. Now what we've done uh, is we've gone a step further. So the first thing we've done inside the, the, the P-Series tailgate, if you open up the rear plate, you will see that there's a little plate and this is the little lever that when you push the handle, it, it's got two little levers and that unlocks the part. What we've done is we've uh, designed our own, as I mentioned, the full OEM level central locking. So you actually are going to replace uh, this little lever with these parts. Now I'm going to talk very fast uh, and to try and make it not boring for you guys. Um, these parts will turn it into a proper OEM locking system and it's completely non-destructive. Anything that I'm showing you now can be completely reversed. There's no holes drilled in the vehicle and they'll definitely not be splicing and dicing. So the first thing, we're going to remove this and uh, we're going to pop these in and then we're going to have a central locking motor and this central locking motor will be moving uh, that part of the actual lock and that will mean that if the vehicle is locked, the tailgate is locked and the handle will be completely freewheeling as we'll show you in the video after this. But more importantly, there's another two components. These are dropping components in the tailgate. So while you've got the tailgate cover open and you've uh, connected that system, these will drop in. They each feature a central locking motor and they're going to do some other nice things that I think you guys will like. And then the critical part is we have a wiring harness. Now you'll see it's a slightly more complicated wiring harness because it's controlling a computer system. And we call this the Easy Rig Accessory Bus. So like your vehicle has an electronic system that's called the CAN bus, this is a completely separate uh, system called the accessory bus. And this uh, system, although it's connected to the CAN bus, it does not draw any power. And that's what this wiring harness is for. So the wiring harness is going to connect straight up to the accessory rail and the battery. Then we're going to have a sensing system that actually works with uh, 
some LEDs and light sensing transistors. And that's going to sense whether the CAN bus is in the lock or unlock mode. So inside our little magic box is an electronic circuit, it's basically just a computer circuit. And what that will do, that will control all these motors and then some other things that we'll show you in the video. So um, once this is in, uh, installed, basically in your tailgate you will have a clone of what happens in your vehicle's central locking. So every time you lock the vehicle, the tailgate's locked, unlock it, the, the tailgate's unlocked, but most importantly the handle will freewheel. So there's no way you can just rip off the handle or it's going to be stuck in one position. It'll be freewheeling like any other OEM level system. So that's how far we're going to go now. Guys, best of luck and uh, watch the next video to see how it works in action. Thanks and enjoy your beast. Cheers.